Our next event, the women's 100-meter hurdles. Naya Ali of USC. That's the USC on the West Coast with the best time in the country this year. Kim Carson of LSU has the SEC record, 1272. And it is LSU's Tanaya Jones in lane two, the senior, second at the 2011 SEC Indoor Championships. He's got a season's best white of 13.20 seconds coming in, one of the co-favorites. Kiri Beckles, or I should say, was, it's next to her, but Brittany Heider won her heat yesterday, the junior from Arkansas. They're counting on points from her in this race. She ran 13.33 and winning her heat and beating Jones yesterday in the heat. Kiri Beckles of South Carolina and, the Bar and Barbados had the fastest qualifying time, albeit slightly wind-aided. She was the 2010 U.S. Junior College champion. And on the other side of these four, the freshman from LSU, Jasmine Stowers. Stowers and Tanaya Jones with one, two indoors at the SEC meet. On your mark. This is the race where we expect to see LSU start to make a move with regard to the team points with two finalists. But Arkansas can also make a dent. They have three finalists in these hurdles. Jones in two, Stowers in five. It's 13 meters to the first hurdle, and then in between each hurdle is eight and a half meters, and the run-in is 10 and a half meters to the finish. Jones was third in 2009, second last year. Set. Weight claim in lane four. That is Kerry Beck uh, Beckles. And now here comes Stowers. Stowers making a move in the middle of the race. It's lane five. That is Jasmine Stowers. She's going to run away with this. Beckles is going to be second and Jones third. So 16 points for LSU. 12.88 and the win is legal. So a big victory, a very clear victory for Jasmine Stowers. The freshman wins it and gives her team 10 points and then six more for third out of Tanaya Jones. As you said, Dwight, that was a legal win. Very fine race, good competition, and she rose to the challenge, did Stowers as she did indoors. 12.88 seconds, excellent form, very quick over the hurdle, gets her lead laid down quickly. That is the fastest collegiate time in the country by one one-hundredth of a second. Freshman Jasmine Stowers has made a great transition from high school track and field to to being a top runner nationally and certainly at the SEC level as well. So Jasmine Stowers leads a 1-3 finish for LSU in the women's hurdles and their technique was a whole lot better than the men. And with that 16 points, LSU now crawls within two of Florida, Arkansas still back in third.